Good morning everyone. I am Rishali Dhanokar, Assistant Professor, IT Department. In my last videos, we learn about stack, queue and tree data structure. We also learn about their algorithms, pseudocode, then a C++ program and also some uh, representation and examples of this data structure. Hope you have watched all those videos. Now, from this session, we will start our next unit, that is Unit 5. And the name of the unit for you is graph and symbol table. So in this session, we will learn about some introductory concept regarding graph data structure. So let's see. So uh, following points are covered in this video, which includes introduction of graph, types of graph, their terminology, representations and applications of graph. So let's see one by one. Uh, the first point is introduction of graph. We all are familiar with the graph data structure, right? Graph is a non-linear data structure and graph is collections of nodes and edges. All the nodes are connected with each other by using edges. So nodes are sometimes called as vertices or edges, right? And edges is also called as lines or arcs that will be connected with each other. So we know that graph is a consist of finite set of vertices and finite set of edges. See in this diagram, this is just structure of graph, right? In graph, there is set of vertices. Set of vertices is denoted by the V, okay? And there are total uh, five vertices, that is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Again, there are some set of edges and set of edges is denoted by the E, okay? That is 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3 means path between that vertices. This is called a set of edges. Next. Now, uh, next point is applications of graph. So, graph is a particular data structure. We will use this uh, graph data structure in our daily life or a daily basis, right? Graphs are used to represent a network. We can say networks of the city, telephonic network, circuit network, etc. In GPS system, we know that we all use uh, GPS or Google map right so in gps system also use graph data structure it shows a particular direction between source to destination right next graph is also used in social networks like linkedin facebook right in facebook each and every person is represented as a vertex right so person id name gender these are the uh, particular characteristics of that vertices right so in this way there is also so uh, graph data structure is used which is also used in study molecules, in chemistry and physics, uh, weighted graph in GPS maps to calculate the shortest path. In hyperlink, uh, we know that we will search a particular link through the Google, then neural networks. So these are the best applications of the graph. Uh, types of graph. So there are some basic types of graph. Let's see. The first one is undirected graph. Undirected graph means there is no any edge direction, okay? There is no direction will be shown. So, edges has no orientation, right? See in this diagram, so in this graph data structure, there is no any direction will be shown. So, this is called as undirected graph. Next one is directed graph. In directed graph, edges has the orientation. See here, each and every edge has particular direction and direction always shown by the arrow, right? So, this is called as directed graph. Next one is called as directed acyclic graph. So this is called as DAG graph. In this directed acyclic graph, there will be no cycle will be formed, right? See here in this diagram, there is no any cycle will be created, okay? Next one is multigraph. So the conditions of multigraph is, that is undirected graph and loops are allowed. What is meant by loops? So two or more edges connected to the same vertex. See in this graph, there are two, these are the two edges, right? And these two edges are connected to the same vertex and the graph is undirected. So this is called as multigraph. Undirected and loops are allowed. Clear? Next. The next type of graph is simple graph. Simple graph has two properties that is undirected and loops are not allowed. See in this diagram, the graph is undirected graph and here is, uh, and here is no any loop will be formed, right? All the vertices are connected with each other. Clear? So this is called a simple graph. Next one is weighted graph. 
वेटेड ग्राफ मीन्स इच एंड एवरी एज अ पर्टिक्युलर वेट और पर्टिक्युलर वैल्यू विल बी असाइन मोस्टली वेटेड ग्राफ जनरली यूज इन जी पी एस और गूगल मैप राइट देर विल बी अ पर्टिक्युलर मीटर किलोमीटर ऑल दिस वेट विल बी असाइन राइट सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज वेटेड ग्राफ नेक्स्ट वन इज कंप्लीट ग्राफ ऑल द एजेस आर कनेक्टेड टू ईच वर्टाइसेस सी हियर ईच एंड एवरी एजेस आर कनेक्टेड टू ईच वर्टाइसेस राइट so this is called as complete graph next one is connected graph connected graph means path between every pair of vertices see here all the vertices are connected with each other by single path so this is called as connected graph so these are the some types of graph so next point is graph terminology uh, we all are familiar with the terms or graph terminology the first one is node each individual elements or each vertex is called as node uh, see in this diagram the 1 2 5 4 3 uh, these are called as nodes or we can say vertices next one is arcs arcs means edges the link between the two vertices for example 1 2 2 then 1 2 4 1 2 3 this is called as edges or we can say vertices next one is directed edge and undirected edge in directed edge a particular specific direction will be denoted and undirected edge does not show any direction see 1 uh, to 2 means the particular uh, data or particular path will be move from 1 to 2 vertex next one is degree degree means total number of edges connected to the vertex so degree has two types in degree and out degree in degree means total number of incoming edges connected to the vertex and out degree means total number of outgoing edges connected to the vertex see here for example the vertex is 4 okay so how many there are incoming edges that is 1 to 4 2 to 4 and 5 to 4 right means there are total 3 incoming edges so in degree of this four vertex is 3 right next one is out degree out degree means total number of outgoing edges connected to the vertex 4 to 3 4 to 6 and 4 to 7 means there are total 3 outgoing edges it means that the out degree of this 4 is 3 clear next next one is adjacent so adjacent means see here in this diagram suppose a to b means a it moves to next node that is b so a and b a and b is called as adjacent node there is path or direct path is present next one is successor and predecessor see here so a to b so b is called as successor and a is called as predecessor right so for example source to destination so destination is called as successor and source is called as predecessor right next one is a path path means sequence from start vertex to end vertex then a length length means total number of edges present including in path for example a to c there are total two edges will be present that is a to b and b to c right so this is called as length of that particular graph next one is linear path and cycle path see here uh, in this diagram cycle path means starting and ending vertex is same 0 to 1 1 to 3 and 3 to 0 means starting and ending vertex is same so this is called as particular cycle right next another example 1 to 3 and 3 to 4 so starting vertex is 1 ending vertex is 4 so this is called as linear path starting and ending vertex is not same clear so this is called as linear path next next concept is subgraph subgraph means subset of graph see here suppose graph g2 is complete graph okay and graph g1 is subset of that graph next one is source source means vertex with no incoming edges the source vertex always degree will be zero that is starting vertex isolated node isolated node means single node see in this diagram that is a to b b to c c to d then e to f so there will be a particular graph but this node is not connected to the graph right but this is a part of that graph so this is called as isolated node next one is sink sink means vertex has only incoming edges not outgoing edges will be present this is called as sink next one is articulation point articulation point means see here suppose this is a particular graph that is v1 v2 and v3 suppose we will remove this node that is v1 
so graph will be disconnect right so this is called as articulation point of that particular graph clear next next one is graph representation okay graph will be represented by two ways that is matrix format or linked list format so see here the first type is adjacency matrix representation of graph so for adjacency matrix we will use two dimensional array matrix for the graph representation okay and the formula is number of vertices into number of vertices okay so let's see so here is a representation of undirected graph and here is representation of directed graph so let's say first undirected graph representation okay so this is the front end that is your graph and this is the back end okay so all the values are stored in database so first see here uh, there, there are total five vertices that is a to e again a to e okay this is in matrix format or row column format right so see here a to b then a to d and a to c means b d and c the value of b c d is 1 okay zero is indicate that there is no path between the particular vertices and one is indicate that there is path is present right so a to a there is no any path so it will be indicated by the zero okay a to b that is 1 a to d that is again 1 and a to c is also 1 okay so a to e there is no direct path between present in that vertices right so that will be zero clear so this is a simple undirected graph representation you should check that okay next one is directed graph representation see here the given graph is directed graph the particular direction will be shown okay so directed graph will be focus only on outgoing edges okay see here first a to a that will be zero because there is no edge will be present then a to b that will be a outgoing edges so it becomes one okay a to c that becomes one next a to d there is no outgoing edges there will be a incoming edge okay so it focus only on outgoing edges so that will be zero clear so uh, again here is d to d that is self loop okay so that will again become one so this is the graph representation in matrix format okay next the next type is adjacency list representation of graph okay you can uh, declare a graph either in matrix format or in linked list format okay so for adjacency list representation we will use single linked list so in this representation for each vertex in graph we maintain the list of its neighbors okay see here there are total five vertices right uh, adjacency list representation is always um, focus only on directed graph okay so a b c d e there are total five graph okay so a to b then a to c means there are total two outgoing edges right see here a to b and b to c so last node always become null okay this is called data part this is called next part data part stored value of the vertices and next part stored address of the next node okay and that cross indicate that is null means there is no any further node will be present okay next see b b to d b to e means there are two node b to d d to e right So this is called as linked list representation of the particular graph. Clear? So here is a self loop, right? That is D to A that will be outgoing edge, D to E and D to D means D A D E. Clear? Next. Thank you. So, hope so. You understood some representation, graph terminology, and some introductory part regarding graph. Keep watching. Thank you.